Hi, Jonathan. This is Brandon here. I told you I work with other fencing companies around North Carolina. And so in this video, I just wanted to show you a couple different things right quick about your online presence. Now, you're probably wondering why am I doing this, you know, and what's in it for me? I have found that many business owners like yourself are so busy with work that it's hard to, you know, find time to better understand the Internet and how it can help benefit you and your business. And so this is just to give you a couple tips and you can take these things and you can run with them as you wish or if you just want to reach out get some help or see what I can do help do for you feel free to reach out to me so in the meantime I'm just going to jump in here because I know you're on vacation so I want you to enjoy that okay so first thing I want to notice right quick I'm on your website looks great I love the pictures I can tell you do good quality work here <clears throat> you also have some really good reviews as well I like the pictures that you have posted on here and again very good work I would <laughs> if I had a fence to do I would totally hire you for me okay so with this uh, one of the first things I want you to notice right quick right here at the top where it says business.site because it says that you're not really able to rank on Google so even if you type in uh, fencing in Greensboro uh, part of fence repair then you don't really pop up you don't pop up until the second or third page so one thing you can do to fix that is hardenfencerepair.com and that will fix some of your problems there. Now you're not going to be able to do it on this platform. Google offers these type of websites specifically for startup business. So that's also reflected on your Google index score which we'll take a look at here in a second. So one of the first things is you want to make sure you have a lot of content on your website. That way Google considers you an authority online and that's pretty important because Google wants to make sure people are experts, right, in their field. So that's also reflected in your Google index score, as I spoke of before. Here's your Google index score and your Bing index score. Basically, what these scores mean is your influence online. So uh, if you have a big footprint, you're going to have a higher score than others. And just to show you a little bit of con contrast real quick, Seagars Fence Company, these guys are massive. As you can tell, these they have a really high index score and a Bing index score as well. So another thing with your website, whenever you do decide to do it, uh, rebuild it, or whatever, you want to make sure you have plenty of these drop-down links right here. They're technically called backlinks, but you want to make sure you have a lot of these. That way, people can find exactly what they're looking for on your website. So if a person were, go, were to go onto your website, you know the average Joe. If he goes onto your website and he looks and he sees that you do just regular fencing, you know, wood fencing or something, he may not come to a conclusion that you do other like uh, I don't know other kinds of fencing like vinyl or a steel or whatever it may be okay so that's another thing you want to do to make sure your website gets uh, more customers and more get more traction so that's the second thing final thing real quick is you want to make sure you have a lot of citations here is a tool I use it's called local citation finder a citation is another website that has your business name uh, phone number and address located on it you know things like uh, Chamber of Commerce BBB all those different ones are considered citations the reason why citations are important is Google needs to make sure that you're legit that you are a credible business and so Google references these different citations so that they know who you are now you may have a wonderful thriving business offline but Google doesn't really know who you are as it's represented here okay so one of the things you want to do to like make sure that Google recognizes you as a fencing company in Greensboro is having some citations as you can tell here your top competitive your top independent competitors have about 30 different 30 to 40 different citations one thing that's pretty cool is uh, with this tool I can look at a chart I can see exactly which ones each guy has and which ones they don't have now you can make an account with these guys if you want to it'll take about 20 to 30 minutes each to set up an account the ones that are in blue you do have to pay for but if we work together we actually assume the costs of all those different ones so just as a recap right quick you want to make sure you have a lot of citations so Google considers you and we considers you a legit business also you want to make sure you have all these different kind of drop downs right here so people can find exactly what they're looking for because people are lazy and finally, whenever it comes to your website, you want to make sure you have a lot of content on there. So Google considers you an authority online. You have to make sure that you also have a .com domain. That way you're able to rank in, in Google's algorithm. 
so people can find you and so that you can build up this business, whether it be like a family business or whatever, okay? So I hope you found this information or video you know, beneficial. If you can tell I have a couple different tricks up my sleeves that can help you out, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Brandon. You can text or give me a call at 704-476-6223. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your vacation.